Today, I wanna to help you find the perfect images for your next project. Anything you might create a mood board for or whiteboarding to collaborate during a meeting. For me, designing a personal brand or a website, that's what I would use images for, or in a collection, an ad campaign, you get the idea. Finding images, finding these images takes time. The tool that I'm sharing today allows you to search multiple image libraries at once and find what you're looking for faster. You are going to love this. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today, I wanna to show you PopSync, the greatest way to save time finding high quality images by searching multiple image sources simultaneously. They are today's sponsor for this video, but I've gotta say, I am loving this tool. I've already integrated it into my workflow and you can get results from Getty Images, Google, iStock, Unsplash, and more instantly. Images are populated in a workspace where you and your team can visualize and build your next big idea. How about I jump right in and show it to you? Here we are starting from a blank canvas in Bluescape. And when I click this little icon down here, this is PopSync. You're gonna see this in action in a moment. I think the first thing I wanna draw your attention to is this little plus sign, okay? Here we can add content. You might have content on Drive, OneDrive, or Box, even Dropbox, for example, or on the web. You can use all of these little icons to locate that. One of my favorite things to do beyond uploading my own content is to start from a template. So let's go ahead and select the template icon. Here you'll see some featured templates. This will start to create some parameters on how you might want to use this tool. It can truly be used for so many different things, process mapping, project management, vision boards. I really like this category here, design, very relevant for me. So design reviews, wireframes, or how about this, website content. This is something I'm constantly working on with clients. So I'm going to go ahead and place this template. I'll click this place template and it's going to add it to my workspace. Okay. So as you can see here, we started with this first canvas, which is blank. I've added a workspace. When you click up here, I've also enabled the grid view here under view settings, show grid. I could turn that off if I wanted to, whatever you prefer. Now, the next thing I want you to get acquainted with are the plus sign on your keyboard and the minus side on your keyboard. This is going to be very useful for you as you're toggling between different parts of your workspace. We're going to use an example example, a website content plan, and that's going to give us this opportunity to try out PopSync. This is where you can go to one place to find images for your project. If you're like me, maybe you've had a million different browser tabs open on different image websites. Well, no more. All you have to do here is start with a keyword. So let's type the word workspace. Let's say that that's going to be a part of the, you know, the types of images that I want to use for my website content. Right away, it's actually grabbing images from Google Images images and Getty images, which is really awesome. When we go back here, I actually have the ability here to manually select the different image sources that I want. So let's say I want to include Unsplash as well as Pixabay and Pixels. These are some very, very popular royalty-free image websites. Let's go ahead and select again, desktop. And right away, it is opening images that are being searched on those respective websites. And we don't have to go to different tabs and different websites. I really like this image that's popping up from Unsplash. So I could copy this and then navigate here over to my website content and paste it. And that's just the first of many, many features that are built in here. By selecting these points, I can add a little arrow pointing to that content. And here, this might be a good way to illustrate that actually this is an image that I'm thinking about using as our header image for this website. I not only love all the templates here in Bluescape, but I am obsessed with this PopSync image search and the fact that we only have to go to one place to search so many different image providers. Have a look at this list. This is incredible. So how might you use this tool for your projects? Let's dive in with a different example. Starting from a blank canvas, let's look at a totally new example. I'll click this plus sign, and this time I'm gonna select Smart Grid. One of my favorite ways to use PopSync is to create mood boards. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm going to create a little Smart Grid and wait until you see this in action. We'll open PopSync here, and we'll look for something brand new. Let's type the word minimalist branding and see what comes up. So I have selected these image sources, as you saw previously, and I'm now starting to watch the results come in. 
This is incredible to be able to see so many different results from so many different websites in one single view. Remember, I can click that plus sign and scroll in even closer. And if I wanna see more results from one of these image sources, I would simply click show more and that's exactly what's gonna happen. So I can be looking through here to find some images that I find particularly inspiring. Let's say in this case, I'm creating a minimalist mood board. I can select this image, I can copy it, but there's also a few other things that I could do. I could pin this. I could also present it, which is going to make it full screen. I can show similar images. This is especially useful if I like this image, but I want to see more of this. I can then select a specific image source and see more images like that. And really the possibilities are endless. I love the ability to jump between different image sources to create something awesome. So let me move my there's another image I like, so I'm just gonna keep a little area here that will end up going into my mood board. I will zoom out and I will actually bring my smart grid a little bit closer and watch how awesome this is. I can pop these images into place if I wanna see them as a collection. Let's zoom in and you're watching the beginning stages of a mood board, which is really that simple. Finally, I'll point out some of the elements you can incorporate here. Let's say I want to describe my mood board. I could describe that here in some text, as well as adding shapes. If I want to, for example, on a mood board, present a solid color, I could absolutely do that. Choosing from the colors that they provide or selecting this custom option, which would be great and just entering a hex code here. I also love in Bluescape the ability to react to certain images. This might be a great way to create a little system with your team to indicate what they like and what they might not like. There's so, so much you can do in here. So we've looked at how it can be used for mood boards, but what about brainstorming or scheduling a meeting that's more collaborative? Let's see PopSync in action for that. Back on the beginning stages of our mood board here, I wanna show you something awesome if you wanna incorporate this tool into your meetings. So this icon up here in the top right, I can click meet now and I can then join a meeting. So I'll go ahead and do that with my camera off. If you've used Zoom or any other popular meeting tool, this interface is similar, but this is even better. So your basic info for your meeting is gonna be visible here if you want someone to phone in or have a password or a meeting ID. Anyone joining your meeting will appear here, but watch this. I can go ahead and click that workspace that we've been hard at work on, and here we can actually use this in a collaborative way. So your meeting attendees will show along the side. I can move them around the camera. They'll actually be able to see and interact with what we have on screen in real time. That's how incredible and collaborative this tool is. No need to share screens or anything like that. Here you can actually click and interact, react, add text, and figure out a system that's gonna work perfect for you and your team. So that's PopSync. It's such a great way to instantly find and compare amazing images from Getty Images, Unsplash, Google, and more. Even better, it is free to start. Bluescape will give you up to two workspaces, 600 megabytes, of storage and more details linked below for all of the plans. If you've got any lingering questions, go ahead and comment. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Thank you for this collaboration, PopSync and Bluescape. It's been a pleasure. Through it, I have become a very happy user of this platform. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Pound. Thanks for watching. Those are coming up next.